Hello there guys. It's been a few days since I've done an alive. Um, I'd like to thank all of you who have uh, went to a prisoner of fame and all the wonderful comments that you guys have left uh, for me. I'm just so grateful. Oh, great. Hi, Leisha. Hi, Jackie. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Cole. Hi, Amy. Okay. Hi, Nikki. I'll be saying hi to everybody. Won't get down to the, the live yet. But anyway, guys, um, lots have gone on, you know, and I like to thank everybody for Prisoner of Fame. Please, please watch it. Here's the poster. Please go to Vimeo.com and watch a Prisoner of Fame. Highly, highly, highly rated. And I am so, so proud of uh, making you guys who trusted me, who donated, and um, and uh, that you guys love it. And I'm, it makes me so happy. And Teresa had the top spot as a number one a donator. So um, I'm so proud that I made her proud. I'm going to read this review by her. Um, she, she is such a supporter. And so are so many of you guys. And I, I try my best to thank all of you guys when I can, but individually. And I do. Every time you email me, I try to email and answer and all that. And plus, you guys got to remember... It is not easy keeping up with all you guys' emails and, and responding and trying to comment back because it's it, it takes a lot of my day. But I love you guys and I do my best. But anyway, I'm going to read this review by Teresa. And I'm so glad that I, I lived up to the expectation. Um, this was such an incredible short film. I found myself at the edge of my chair holding my breath. I've watched over and over. Prisoner of Fame brings... Uh, really brings Pearl Jr.'s Alive 2 documentary to life. It's an, it is amazing how much attention is paid to detail. Yeah, you guys, all the clues and symbolisms all the way. I love the flow of emotions, especially when you brought out Jack's wink playful side. Yes. Um, everything is so professional. The actors were outstanding and Pearl, your script is amazing. It definitely leaves you wanting more and shows just how easy it is for a megastar to fake his death. Congratulations, my friend. I think you should win an award. And in my book, you already um, you already have my heart. That was such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful review of A Prisoner of Fame. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you guys know me you and you've been around a while, you know that, you know, I sell things. But you know, I don't make a lot of money. I really don't, guys. You know, I'm a small little company and, and everything. But anyway, the money that I do make, you guys see that I put it in project, put it back in project after project after project, right? Because these things don't fall out the sky ready made, you know? So um, please watch the documentary. It's on Vimeo.com. It will be on Amazon Video Direct. And hopefully it'll be on more platforms that I haven't submitted to. And it will be on DVD eventually. But for now, it's on uh, Vimeo.com um, on demand, forward slash on demand. And I'll put the link forward slash A Prisoner of Fame. I'll put the link down in the description of this video. But anyway, anyway, guys, um, thank you so, so much. Well, I have other stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I want to, the French fans. Okay, the French fans, um, every country has their own laws. And even in the United States, every state has their own laws. So um, with uh, the French fans, they do have a law in France that you cannot defame the dead. So there is a group of fans. I believe they're suing for one. I, I don't know. Is it called a euro? Whatever the French dollar is called. Um, there's, it's not about money. It's about doing the right thing. It's about, and I think that this might be the same lawyer. I'm not sure. I didn't really research it. That sued Conrad Murray for, um, undue stress, um, because of the quote unquote death of Michael Jackson. Um, but, um, we wish the French fans luck to prove that James, Wade, and Dan, and that a law firm all conspired to destroy Michael Jackson for the sake of getting themselves rich. OK, um, um, Stevie Wonder, God bless you, Stevie Wonder. Thank you. Oh, my God. He's 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 has to retire for a little while or take a break. He has a kidney transplant transplant. So we wish you the best, um, um, Stevie. 
I, I saw you at Papa Joe's memorial and we spoke briefly and um, you seem very touched, you know, that Papa Joe was gone. You seem very touched. Um, George Benson, George Benson, uh, he came out and said he doesn't think Michael's a pedophile. Kelly Rollins, uh, she came out and she sung, I think, her song. And uh, Lionel Richie, he did uh, We Are the World. So we thank all of them. And also Lavelle Smith Jr. He did a documentary. And Lavelle, honey, your intuition is telling you. He told a little story about how he kept saying, Michael is this, Michael is that. And even in the documentary after he told the story about him saying, Michael is, Michael is. And when producers told him, you have to say Michael was, right? He still said Michael is, okay? So your tuition is telling you, and he said, I was wishing and hoping that maybe it's not true. I didn't want to believe it. Honey, watch my documentaries, okay? And if you want to sit down and chit chat with me, I'm there for you. Don't listen to the haters. <laughs> Don't listen to them. Oh my God. Um, um, and uh, at, at toward the end, he had some unreleased footage in there too, some extended footage and some unreleased footage he had in his documentary. And he said, "It ain't over yet." Is that what he said? You ain't seen nothing yet. What? What? If Michael's supposed to be dead, what haven't we seen yet? Right. Okay, you're not supposed to be a believer. I know you're not. You, I know. But I'm telling you, nothing proves that Michael Jackson is dead. Period. Okay. Um, um, let's see. Um, Dis, uh, Disney star. Okay, his name is Cameron Bryce. Rest in peace. He was so young. He was only 20 years old. And I'm going to turn my camera around. But he is a Michael fan. I'm not going to turn on the volume. But that's him. And uh, sorry about the reflection. Gosh, I should have did something about the reflection before I went on live. But I'm, gosh, see, he's a Michael fan. Thank you, Bryce. He had a seizure and he died. So, um, you know, that that's awfully, awfully, awfully sad, you know. Um, there's more little stuff that I have saved for you guys. I'm going to get to that later. Uh, let's see if I got to everything before I get to this one. Oh, leave a message for MJ. That was funny. The estate said sent out a um, sent out a Michael Jackson birthday. What we're gonna do for Michael Jackson's birthday? And the estate said, guess we'll have the opportunity to leave a birthday video for Michael. How are we gonna leave some for Michael when Michael's dead? Wink, wink. Okay, okay. I just thought that that was cute. Okay, but his, that's August 29th, and I'm sure we're gonna hear more about that celebration. Uh, but that's cute. Um, let's see. Uh, and mo some of the hate, the, the naysayers will say, and there's a difference. I'm, I'm going to say this. There is a difference between a naysayer and a hater. Okay. The naysayer is just somebody who just disagrees and, you know, you got to just kind of hold their hand and kind of school them. But boy, you know, that's why I made the documentaries. That's why I spent $75,000. It cost me $75,000 to make those three documentaries because I couldn't explain everything to everybody, every fan one-on-one -on -one individually. So that's why I always say, please go see my documentaries because you know, it explain it all to answer all your questions. It will, you know, make you go, oh my God, you know, it, it, it's, and I thank everybody that has bought it, but you guys know I put money right back into a Michael project and you guys know I want to do a live for, but I can't afford it. And I want to be able to one day afford to make a prisoner of fame into a mini series. Okay, or a full length movie. I don't know how that's going to happen. Lord have mercy. That's just seems like it's just too big. You know, um, I have somebody on the roast, but what they want is, is I can't, I, it, it's unreasonable. Okay, it's unreasonable. So I do have one person. I'm probably going to try to talk to this person again and see if I can figure out some way. You know what I mean? But I don't know. But anyway, we forge ahead. I forge ahead. Okay. So we're going to get to um, something um, um, kind of interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um, let's start. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. The, the movie yesterday. Okay. 
um, there's a song, um, the Beatles song, Yesterday, which is a great, great, great song. There's the poster, and I saw this movie. It was really super good. And um, it's about the Paul is dead death hoax. You guys, you, um, okay, you guys know that Paul McCartney had a death hoax. And Paris, a lot of times, have um, has uh, um, posted the abbey road um album cover where all four of them are walking across the street and paul mccartney doesn't have any shoes on and they showed that in the film too no barefoot somebody barefoot that was part of the hoax so it's about the paul mccartney death hoax but it's it it, it has a whole lot of paul mccartney is dead death hoax clues in it um and a lot of people could think it's it's michael jackson death hoax clues but you know what I kind of think Ed Sheeran believes Michael faked his death. I really do. I, I, I do because there were a couple of references that wasn't really the Beatles that were like for Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? So there is a sign that says something, you know, welcome back from the dead. And I don't want to tell you guys the whole movie because it's super cute. And I'm not going to tell you the plot. I'm just going to tell you the, the death hoax stuff. Um, and, um, and then at the end, oh my God, at the end, that was creepy. But of course he's gone because the actor was too short to really be him. Okay. Um, uh, but anyway, this movie is super cute. Okay. And I recommend you go see it. It's just a, it's a, it's a, a chick flick, <laughs> but it's for guys too. It's for guys too. All right, so we're going to go through some of the stuff that I have. Okay, let me make sure that I, I got the rest. Okay, we're going to go through some of the stuff that I have saved for you guys. Okay, we can turn the camera around. Okay, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Okay, he's an actor. Oh, my goodness. I can't stand this reflection. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. Let me see what I can do about the reflection. Oh, I just made it worse. Uh, I just think, <sighs> okay, I think that's a little better. Is that a little better? I think it's a little better. Okay, so um, this is Ed Sheeran. So he has a history of wearing shirts that say hoax on it. I believe he did it in, at, in certain award shows, but he's been wearing the hoax uh, shirts for, for, you know, um, for a few years, for a few years, not before Michael Jackson had, was announced dead. But, um, and this right here is from August 16th, um, which is the day that Elvis was announced dead, August 16th, uh, and the Elvis death hoax, wink, wink, nod, nod, and there's a hoax, and he's wearing the hoax t-shirt. Now him with, uh, with Beyonce, they performed, and he has hoax shirt says, hoax US since 94. Right? Oh man, I had that that it, it is it says hoax UK since ninety four. Well, is he mixing Paul McCartney? Paul is dead because Paul also watch the Alive trilogy. I talk about the Paul is dead hoax and three weeks, you know, twenty one days after uh Michael was announced dead, Paul McCartney was on um what's his name show? Oh gosh, not Jimmy Kimmel. Not Jimmy Kim. Oh, he's going to be mad at me. David Letterman. He was on David Letterman's show. And he talked about, Paul McCartney talked about the Paul is Dead death hoax three weeks after the Michael Jackson death hoax. So you guys, please watch the Alive Trilogy because if you're not caught up, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. Okay? Because the uh, the hoax, is the it's ongoing. Okay? So you got to be, you got to be caught up because it takes me too long to explain everything. Right? So anyway, so hoax uk since 94 right so since 94 guess what was in 1994 i'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can look at me while i i, I did not bring that up okay oh i think i can bring it up pretty quick we're gonna find out um what happened in 94 why he used 94 or one reason why he could have used 94 right um let's see if i have them no not that one not that one but most of you guys um who are well advanced hoaxers you know where i'm going with this already you already know you already know okay here we go okay 
1994. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn my camera around. All right. This is an article from World Weekly News. Uh, Michael Jackson article, March 29th, 1994. Michael Jackson plans to fake his own death. And it was reposted five days before Michael was announced dead. And then on the 25th, I should make you guys go and, and see this here. Go to the, um, if you guys haven't watched it. Then on the 25th, World Weekly News post, Michael Jackson faked his own death. See? So Michael Jackson, the first that we've ever heard of Michael Jackson faking his death was in 1994. Okay? So is it, Sharon, like a secret, um, a secret hoaxer? Uh, Michael Jackson hoaxer, and he probably wants to talk about people and in, 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 um, talk to people about it, but he probably gets laughed out of the room, so he just kind of leaves these little jokes. But also, uh, the movie yesterday was um, announced that it was going to be made in uh, 2018, okay, 2018. But anyway, I, ha I got this, this screenshot from this person. And um, on her video, because uh, I couldn't find this anywhere. I couldn't, uh, this, I finally found it in one of her videos, but I looked everywhere because I went and saw the movie and I didn't take a picture of, the, of, of, of it in the movie. But this is him in the movie, Ed Sheeran. He has a shirt that says M-O-O-J, 17. What does that have to do with the Paul is dead death hoax? So Ed Sheeran, I think he's, he's a believer. He's a believer. I wonder if he's a knower. He's a believer. And then the number 17, remember all the clues for the number 17, which is Michael Joe Jackson, 17 letters, June 8th to June 25th, the opening of that account, 17 minutes, 17 hours and 17 seconds. Um, um, also, uh, the Deviant Art, okay, with Hawk Boy 09, uh, June 8th, and then 17 days later was uh, the uh, uh, the death announcement. So Ed Sheeran, is he sneaking in some Michael Jackson death hoax clues? I'm just wondering. I I'm just wondering. Welcome aboard, Ed. We got you. We got your back, Ed, if you're here with us. But it really is about the Paul, the, the yesterday. It's really about Paul McCartney, the Beatles, and um, and just a cute, cute, cute story. A super cute story. Um, about, you know, and it's really brilliant because Paul now has his rights back. Okay. Michael, um, estate in the, in the last quarter of 2016, um, they went ahead and, um, it was either Sony by Michael out or Michael by Sony out. It was a contract that Michael himself signed and it came due. So the estate said, nah, we're not buying the rest of it for 750 million. You can buy us out. Okay. And they bought they bought them out. But the reason why Michael really bought them out, let me turn my camera around. The reason why Michael really sold his half is because of a reclamation uh, clause in the copyright clause that after 56 years, if it's before 1976, I believe, um, you get your stuff back. You can reclaim your copyrights. And Paul McCartney, that 56 years for most of his stuff is there. Okay, because I was born in 19, whatever, <laughs> whatever, 19, okay, um, even though I've said my age before, but I'll make you, I'll make you go work, work, work to find it. Anyway, so most of his stuff came of age. So, of course, Paul McCartney, he put in and he was suing Sony, like instantly, okay, to get his stuff back prematurely to get his stuff back. So this is a nice way. This movie is cute. The theater was packed when I went. And um, it, it's a nice way to reintroduce the world to the great, great Beatles music. And, um, and to introduce the world to just great music, just great music. And uh, so it's a cute story, so I won't tell you the plot, but I believe that Ed Sheeran is a believer. Now, M007, somebody had said to Brandy, 
that's the person I got that video from, um, got the back of the t-shirt from, does that mean a double, like a double agent, like a, Michael's double died? You know, I, sounds pretty good to me, right? So anyway, guys, um, I think I have went through everything. Um, I think I have went through everything that I had to say for you guys. Let's, let me make sure. Um, and that Beyonce picture was from 2018 too. So he plays games with the hoax and UK hoax UK singer hoax UK is uh, the the Paul is dead death hoax. It is so watch my live trilogy, okay, and uh, we will um, um, and uh, you'll be caught up. I don't think I've finished saying the naysayers are people that just disagree. The haters are the ones that are, are vicious and mean and say mean things. And, you know, they stalk you, they harass you, they lie on you, and they say very, very bad things. So I'm going to leave you guys with this. If you see very cruel, very mean, horrible, abusive, uh, hateful messages, please report them. And if you see anything that's threatening, okay, threatening, please send it to me at pearljr at michaeljacksoninsider.com. And um, I'm going to, one last little thing, please watch uh, A Prisoner of Fame. And I thank everybody. Read the comments. They're really good. And this movie I'm so, 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 so proud of. And you want to hear something crazy? Yesterday, Cecil was in the grocery store and ran into Philip. That's his name, Philip Andre Botello, the guy who played uh, Jack London in A Prisoner of Fame. Cecil ran into him at the grocery store. Oh my God. And of course, I sent him a promo code. But how, what a coincidence, right? What a wonderful coincidence um, that, you know, when, when you're vibing, just that Michael Magic stuff starts happening. So anyway, so he gets to see it. He said he had never seen it because I hadn't released it. And um, I remember um, the, hate, the hater saying, oh, she, you know, doesn't give credit. I give credit all the time. I have credit, you know, in my suicide book. I have hundreds, uh, over 100 in there. I got hundreds in the Alive Trilogy, I, literally hundreds in the Alive Trilogy. And I have, um, and I then I have the donors in um, Prisoner of Fame because you can't really help me with it. So I just wanted the fans to be a part of it, and that's why you know I went out for donations. I didn't even do it on GoFundMe or any of those other sites because it was basically, you know, my family, my internet family, my Michael Jackson family. Okay, um, and uh, I can ramble on. I wanted to say I went back and I did some research, right? And you know who was the first person to really say that Peter Michael was Bobby Anderson? It was me. <laughs> Way back in 2013. Okay. The other people who claim to know him so well and they're, they're, or, or research him and they have, you know, like today there was this long thing from MJJ community, just long saying, you know, Peter's a fraud and he's Bobby Anderson and all this and all that. Um, well, they didn't even get on the bandwagon until 2014, several months after I had already said, you know, you know, talked about the Bobby Anderson thing. OK, so they got the name from me, <laughs> the Bobby Anderson name from me. OK, you got to watch a live three, because if you're just going on, you know, like the other side of the story, there's always two sides to a story. If you're only going on the other side of the story, you're going to go for that. He's he's not Michael. Right. Um, but if you go on my side of the story, you're going to be like, oh, Pearl, that's some good stuff. Right. Um, and we got to remember that before Michael was announced dead, he used decoys. It, I talk about this all in the Alive Trilogy. He used decoys, he used disguises, he used um, doubles, and he used um, aliases, okay, before he was announced dead. So, while he's dead, don't you think he done elevated it, you know, doing it extra good? I mean, Michael was so into disguises, even the kids wore masks. So, in this death hoax that we're in, error that we're in, of course he's going to use a decoy. 
Of course he's going to use all that because somebody that they say weighs 400 pounds that lives in their sister's basement does not tell the estate what to do, does not predict two years in advance um, uh, Michael's album, doesn't predict when Neverland's going for sale. They don't predict um, 777 with the birthday, okay? They don't... Um, they don't uh, name an album, uh, 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 album. Uh, I mean, they don't name an album a rare pearl, which matches with a whole bunch of stuff that involves him. OK, they don't tell Latoya what to do. They don't tell Austin what to do. They don't tell um, Paris what to do. OK, so anything that he says that's naysaying is just to throw you off. OK, because I've collected so much. So please, guys, watch Alive 3. Watch a live three and everything else. And I think with that, I'm going to go. Okay. And, um, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, Bill Whitfield also. Um, he did an interview on today's show in Australia defending Michael too. And we got to remember that Searching for Neverland movie that they had a death hoax scene in it. And then in the movie, uh, in the book, it also says, um, and both, both of these are the, the bodyguards, um, projects. The other one also says, um, in the book, it also says something inside me wants, wants to think that he faked his death and he's just on an island somewhere. Okay. So these people are feeling, you know, they're feeling Michael's spirit, right? They're feeling it. But because of ridicule, because other people will call you crazy, I believe that they keep it to themselves. You know, because I get so much hate, and so do you guys, so do all of us knowers. Um, we all get so much hate for it, and we're just bringing really good news. <gasps> I have one great thing that I almost forgot. I am so glad I kept talking, because I kept talking because I knew I had something wonderful. Okay, every now and then, you read a comment that really touches your heart and touches your soul. And I'm going to read this to you. It's, it's a comment from a fan. And it's on my YouTube page. And it's on, the I think, the Prisoner of Fame um, video. Anyway, her name is A Soul of a Mystic, Anne, Anne Lease. Okay? She says, again, Pearl Jr., thank you for lifting me up. You know why? I'm truly grateful for everything you do, you do for yourself and us who are now, who now are knowers. Love you, Pearl Jr. Love from the hospital bed in Norway, right? It's going to make me cry, right? And, sh and I went, oh, no, I wish you well in recovery for whatever your health issues are. And thank you so much for being here. Prayer sent your way. God bless you. Keep Michaeling. She says, thank you, Pearl. It's my chemotherapy who makes who makes me really down at the moment. So your videos are truly a blessing at this moment. I'm afraid, but I keep on going. Hope you're doing great. Love, love, love from me to you over the sea. Okay, and then I gave her the Michael method of, you know, that I talked about of how he says cure cancer. You know, you know, and, and to know that something that I do makes someone who's suffering feel better is is really just it's so heartwarming and for people to say that what I do is harmful and it hurts the community and and it's evil and I'm as bad as Wade and James and it's just it, their their claims are so ridiculous that that's why they don't build a lot of steam because anybody that knows me or researches me and you might not agree with everything that I've said in 20 years who the heck do does anybody agree with somebody for 20 years okay um but I gave her the Michael method which was to wherever your cancer is or wherever that tumor is in your body you have to meditate and concentrate on that part of your body and you have to imagine it being a Pac-Man Pac-Man and then Pac-Man eating it up and gobbling it up and then it disappear, disappearing okay just like I tell my fingers what to do and I tell my finger my eyes to wink and I tell my my lips to smile right how come we can't talk to our internal organs 
you know so i gave her that method and she said she loves meditation and thank you so much and she cried and i cried you know um there was more to this hold on there's there's more to this message that you know because i told her i said you're gonna make me cry you know and um i believe there's more to this message oh man um there's more to this message because we were like you're gonna make me cry and i was like you made me cry you know because it was just so wonderful and just so sweet and if i can help make anyone feel better you know just by keeping hope alive about michael even by taking you away and if you don't want to believe that michael's alive you don't have to I'm not forcing you to do that i'm i'm at home i'm, I'm in my office I'm not forcing anybody to go on my page or to believe what I believe. You know, it's, it's a choice. But when somebody tells me that when they're in chemotherapy, that these videos make them feel better and brightens their day. Now, that is Michaeline. That is Michaeline. That is the ultimate Michaeline. So with that, guys, with that, you know, and I wish her the best and we corresponded and all this stuff. And, you know, and I told her, I said, you made me cry. And she said, and she sent me back. She's like, oh, you made me cry. And I'm like, I don't want to make you cry. You know, and it was just such a cute thing. But Michael visited kids in hospitals just to brighten up their day. And if what I do brightens up anybody's day and makes them feel better and gives them hope and faith that Michael, who we love, who was a great humanitarian, you know, if I can bring just a little bit of him to you guys, then I'm doing what he wants me to do. I'm doing what he wants me to do. So God bless her. I wish her well, and I wish everybody else well, because there's other um, fans who have also told me that they're going through cancer, you know, and I don't want to mention your names. This, this lady gave me permission to mention her name. You know, I told her I was going to show the video and she said, okay, you know, I, I'm not show the video, show the comment, you know. Um, but, um, and there's others of you guys. And if I can make you feel better any kind of way, God bless you. Thank you. You're making me feel better and make me feel like I am doing the ultimate Michaeline. Okay, guys, I'm out of here this time. And, um, I love you all and, um, keep Michaeline.